You could call Dan Bukatinsky a past master. The Emmy winner is executive producing a brand new season of the docuseries. Who do you think you are following some of the biggest stars as they go on emotional journeys to trace their family trees? Watch this. Everyone has questions about their ancestors. Were they running from something or to something? This season on Who Do You Think You Are? He was wrecked of Bermuda. Are you kidding me? 33? Jesus, he died when he was 33? I feel like a much more complete version of myself. These are the shoulders that I stand on. And we have Dan with us now. Hi, Dan. Hey. So great Thanks for having me. Yes, I love what you're doing with this show. It's been 10 years since the show first premiered, right? What first hooked you on this concept? Well, listen, you know, I've been partners with Lisa Kudrow for 17 years now. And Lisa was making a movie in Ireland. And when she was at her hotel, she was binging this British series. And she called me from Ireland and was like, this is an amazing series. We have to try to get involved. And, you know, we were three years on NBC, got nominated for an Emmy, and then moved to TLC for six seasons. And now in what I think is unprecedented is we're returning to our home, the mothership at NBC. And um, I think this is a show that can go on forever, and I hope it does. Walk us through some of the stars we'll be learning about, because I know Billy Porter has a really moving experience in the premiere, right? He does, yeah. Billy Porter, um, you know, it's it's quite amazing, because a lot of times the oral history that gets passed down from generation to generation are just the stories that we hear from our parents or our grandparents or aunts and uncles. He had always heard about a grandfather who had been murdered. But the truth of the details of that murder in his family and his great grandfather's life comes to play. And he has a real reaction to it because it's very relevant to what we're dealing with right now. You know, Bradley Whitford goes uh, on a journey to discover a connection to his ancestors to the Revolutionary War, as well as a political activism that is very tied to his own political activism. 200 years later. Um, and then Zachary Quinto has, has an unbelievable story. He goes back to Pittsburgh as well, just like Billy, but then travels back to Italy. I don't want to give it away, but there is a connection to a character that Zach Quinto played. And you can't quite believe that it's happening. And he couldn't either. Allison Janney travels back and we learn about uh, uh, the people who founded America way before the Mayflower. I mean, 10 generations back. So that kind of stuff you couldn't possibly have imagined. Sometimes you spotlight, you know, things come to the spotlight that you necessarily didn't want. It. So what's your advice for anyone embarking on a journey to their past where, you know, some, some other stuff comes up? Oh, no, listen, you can learn from absolutely any fact, right? The facts of history that are positive can be inspiring. But there's also a lot of things that happened in history that can also shed light on opinions you've made about grandparents, great-grandparents. We've had episodes where people who have always talked about, oh, I had this really, really mean grandmother, and she just never... And then you find out what, what was the trauma, the historical trauma that led to her being that way. And you suddenly have this compassion, not just for those who came before you, but for yourself. How about your family, you know, from doing this show? Have you looked into yours a lot since, you, or, or how has it been for you? You know, it's interesting because, I, of course, I'm interested. Um, as a producer, I always feel like we can do better than me. I mean, we get these lists and I'm like, <laughs> ah, let's get someone more famous than Bukatinsky. I'm certainly motivated and I, I'm, I'm dipping my toe into learning about my father's and my mom's history. We got to get Lisa that we're going to kidnap you. They're going to do it. You're not going to know what's happening. You got right. to not be involved at all until it's happening because then, then it'll be authentic for you. I'll be blindfolded the entire exactly. time. I absolutely love what you're doing. Truly. It's Thank amazing. You. Guys, you can catch a season premiere of Who Do You Think You Are this Sunday at 7 p.m. on NBC. Thanks so much, Dan. Thank you for having me.